Suzanne? Hi, Liddy. Is it my imagination or is that diet working, huh? You lost a few pounds in there? <laughs> been eating much lately. So what's this about talking to the police? Just figured that Russell would tell them everything, so... Look, no one's gonna believe anything Russell or Jimmy say. I mean, they're just a couple of punks. They wouldn't be in this deep shit if they kept their mouths shut. There's no evidence that we're involved. I wasn't anywhere near the house. And if they did find out anything, you know we'd be in trouble, don't you? You would. What do you mean? <laughs> Well, Lydia, if you hadn't gone and gotten your mother's gun, Larry would still be alive, wouldn't he? But you asked me to. No, I didn't. No. Jimmy did. Don't you remember that? But you asked Jimmy, and you and you told Russell that. No, I don't think so. Will you listen to me. I never gave Russell any money. Do you understand? The way I remember, it was your plan all along. You and Jimmy, you had this crazy fixation about me and you were getting some kind of perverted kick out of the whole idea like people with your sexual problems tend to do. Yeah. And Russell went along with you because yeah. Russell is basically an evil little fucking scumbag. Who I'll bet you're having some kind of sick, dirty sex with in spite of your lesbian oh. tendencies, huh? Wait, Wait a minute! Wait, Wait a minute! What? We thought we were friends! <laughs> Well, okay then. Hmm? Can you take some advice from a friend? You keep your fucking mouth shut. <laughs> it's their word against mine. Who are they? A bunch of 16-year-old losers who grew up in trailers whose parents sit around drinking and screwing their cousins. <laughs> I'm a professional person, for Christ's sake. I come from a good home. Who do you think a jury would believe? 